Okay, so this is Endless OS. This is the basic version, which is about two gig download. So it's got less in it. Uh, so I'll just go with English United States to start off. I had a problem with it booting um, and I just unplugged my ethernet cable and a USB stick that was plugged in and it's now booting. So I don't know if one of those things was stopping it from booting. So English, well I can work around English US, so let's just leave it on that. So internet, I'm gonna plug in my ethernet cable now. So I had to unplug it before and then get it to boot. I tried it, so I wrote the image to an SD card and I'll show at the end of this video how to write it to the SD card, how to download it, and the link will be in the description. But I just wanted to show the OS first. So let's skip that, uh, assuming that it's gonna be all right with ethernet. Uh, connect your online accounts, well, I'll skip that as well. So let's just put the PSP video. I'm not worried about a password. Start using endless. But it's all gone black. Again, this is first boot, so I, I haven't looked at this at all. It looks like it's restarting, so maybe it's applying those settings and then restarting. Yeah, I saw WhatsApp was in the videos on it. So I, d I don't even know what this operating system is based on or anything. I haven't really looked at it. So at the top, we've got like a pull down bar, it looks like, which is a calendar, I'm guessing. Okay, or does it just tell you the date? Uh, well, let's try at the top, let's just try search Google and just see what it, what it launches in. So it looks like it's gonna launch in Chrome. Could probably do with restarting this a few times to get it um, to to maybe be faster. It feels it feels a bit like it's like a bit Android or Chrome. So if I go up here, let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so it looks like a full full browser. Certainly at this stage it doesn't feel fast, but as I say, it's the first time booting. There is a much bigger image of this, if I haven't already mentioned it. Uh, this is the two gig basic version. There's an image which is about 13 gig, uh, which has got loads of software in it. So I'm gonna have a look at that at some point. Chrome extension. So what's it trying to do here? Right, Adblock Plus, installation successful. Oh, I don't really go with ad blockers, I'm gonna Remove that from Chromium. Because obviously my YouTube channel, it's paid for by advertising, so I'll just get rid of that. Right, so, let's try, without doing anything else to it, oh, let's go. It already seems to be speeding up a bit. It could be doing some updates in the background. Uh, so, this has got some movement in it. Haven't heard any sound yet. Volume's up on my TV. Yeah, I haven't got any sound. Sometimes happens with various different distributions. Yeah, I can have a look at that. Haven't overclocked, haven't done anything like that. Literally just installed the image because I'm probably gonna concentrate more on the bigger image with all the extra software in it. So let's go in a bit. It's not quite as good without sound. Get rid of that advert. Click on settings. Oh, we've got, uh, we've got 1440s come up. Oh, I was thinking about it. It's thinking a lot. I mean, internet's been right today, so it's not. It's not that. God, it's very slow. I wonder what's making it slow. Right, let's see what else is on this. I quite like this screen. Uh, I quite like the way they've done it. So this would be me, so settings, like, yeah, it's, it's definitely got 
like a chromium sort of feel to it or, or a Chromebook feel to it uh, yeah with these menus as well it's less oh so right so it's picked up my Bose speaker which isn't which is weird because it's not it's not even switched on Battery, 20%. so let's go to Bluetooth picked up my TV as well that just double all right I wasn't in pairing mode to be fair so let's turn off Bluetooth turn it on again click on the Bose connected to yeah endless. endless right so let's go back into the web what's that oh absent absent now that'll be interesting I wonder what the 13 gig of programs are in the bigger version oh I thought that's weird I thought I clicked on internet. So th this is clicking on the internet comes up with this. Very different take on it. So let's go for, well, let's just go to YouTube. We just want something that makes a sound to see if we've got some sound coming through, but it looks like we probably have. So today's biggest hits. Yeah, again, it's, it's still, so it doesn't feel very swift, but it could be installing updates in the background. Uh, your browser does not currently recognize any of the video formats available. So is this different to the... Right, so if I click off that, so that's internet. So let's go here and go YouTube. And what's this launching? This is launching like a YouTube... Oh, this is confusing. I, I don't know if it's Android, I don't know if it's Linux. Uh, right, so that looks interesting. Let's click on that and just see if we get some sound. It's go time, Bolt. Yeah, so we definitely got sound, so that's working. So what have we got down here? So if I click on this, oh, that's show desktop and show apps. So the default is not to show a desktop, it's to show the apps, which is a different take. Bluetooth volume time and date and there you go we've got uh, a, what's playing so again that this makes me think that it is more towards like an Android operating system yeah so I can pause and unpause that app center what's the folder structure look like that'll be interesting so oh well that well that looks more like a Linux documents downloads music pictures, videos, 105 megabyte volume. Don't know what that is. That must be like a partition that it creates on the startup. So let's close that down. So we've got, so even though this is the basic version, we've still got the Office, so Libra Writer, Calculator, yeah, um, the PowerPoint version, a music app, Google Mail. Yeah, Google Mail and Twitter. So what happens with Twitter? Can I use that without logging in? Is it going to give me like a browser experience? Is it going to look like an app? Probably could have read about this operating system, but I always like to sort of have a look without, without trying to do too much research because I think it's just interesting to see how it operates and how it works. So it looks... Yeah, this, so this feels more like an app, doesn't it, than a web page. doesn't let me search it without logging in. I don't really want to log in to any services at this stage for I research more. Uh, so, YouTube media, photos, videos. So if I was to click on WhatsApp, what does that do? Probably gets me to put my phone number in. See, that looks like Android, doesn't it? WhatsApp, open WhatsApp on your phone, tap manual settings. So it'll be interesting to see, let's see this app center then, because that's that's going to be one of the interesting things to, to see what that does. So if I was to do a search, where's search? At the top. And let's see, Audacity's there, that's a good audio um, software. Again, is this gonna be a situation where certain things you try and install 
are meant for x86 processors, not for ARM. That could be what happens if you click on that. So let's try, P oh, not PDP, PSP. Right, so it doesn't have PSP. If you put in emulator, so looking at this, this looks more like some sort of Linux rather than Android. Uh, so explore. I don't know what that noise was. That little t that little drop. So games. There's PPSPP. Let's give it a go. Let's download it. It's a nice app store. So what does that do? Put it a bit smaller. Yeah, so it's all windowed. That internet was weird that it had like a different browser. And there's not like an open... So that's disappeared now. So does it do it only do one thing at a time? No, that's still there. Doesn't it doesn't sort of signify what apps are open? So if I click on that, I believe that's still open. Well, let's minimise that. So if I click on that, I don't know that opened new or if it was already open. So sports, Champions League. Oh, that is, so it is still Chromium. Close. Right, back to the App Center. And there might be a way of seeing what apps are open. It might be an operating system that's designed with uh, touch in mind as well. Right, so installing 0%. Doesn't look like that's working, does it? Keeps crashing. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is leave it there, uh, restart it a few times, play around with it, and uh, I'm currently downloading the bigger image, uh, and I'll see what apps that's got installed. But this has got more than I thought installed in it, considering it's the basic version. Oh, look, you can hold, you can hover over things, and it tells you what... <laughs> no, you can't. You can hover over hack, and it tells you what it is, but it doesn't over over other things. Nothing else, only hack. So, Ender's hack, unlock infinite possibilities through coding, hack is a new. Oh, I saw this in the video, it's got, it's a sort of game-based hacking, uh, so I don't, I don't really know what it is. But, um, we'll launch it and see what it... Oh, that sounds nice. So the only thing I can click on here appears to be the purple disc which I just did and it's doing s obviously the pie is struggling a little bit with the transition nice you flip the door that lets you see what's going on inside let's hack it open oh I'm matching the shape and I I guess so the frequency no, frequency was not too bad. So it must be phase that kind of moves it along. So I guess you're, yeah, and the, what's not so easy about this is the is the fact that it's a bit laggy. So amplitude, <laughs> yeah, it's really laggy. Frequency, so I need lower. Okay, I'm not gonna because it's so laggy. I'm not gonna bother doing that. But obviously, it's it's little mini games to teach you. It's educational, isn't it? This could be good for um, for the whole lockdown thing and and getting kids to learn about computing and coding and so on. Oh, that was more like it. That so it's better if I click. If I try and drag it, it struggles. So which one moved it along slightly? Oh, he's there. Right, 
Right, so I think I'm going to leave it there, but uh, I, I like the look of it. And uh, I'm going to overclock, I'm going to restart, make sure the updates are applied and see if it runs faster, but also I'm going to try the other version. So now I'm going to show you how you install it, uh, and this works for both versions. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description to this, uh, but you need to click on the free download uh, on the endosos.com and then scroll down and there's two images. The, the image I used in this video is the basic one, uh, but I'm also gonna do a video on the bigger image, but it's, what is it, 12.1 gig. Uh, and obviously you need to pick the ones for Raspberry Pi 4 and then click download the file. Uh, and it's, what it will do is download a tiny little file because it's a, a BitTorrent file. So if I click on that, and you'll see that the torrent is in there. You need to click on that and open it with something that can read BitTorrents. And the program I've got on my Mac is called, it's called BitTorrent. So you can see from the icon what it's like. Uh, and uh, once that's downloaded, uh, there are a few images in a folder. So if I go into the folder, you can see this folder here, 3.7.8. Open that up and you'll see that there are three images on here. Uh, it's the one ending in .xz, so if I open up Belena Etcher, hit select the image, go into the folder, and again, and the base folder, and you can see, well there's only one that it shows up as it, as it can write, so I'll click on that, click open, and then flash. So thanks very much for watching, please like and subscribe.